Good morning, dear students. Welcome back to your English second class. Today, we are going to study the lesson Settling into the Secret Annex. Hey children, this is written by Anne Frank. Have you seen any of the books that is written by Anne Frank or have you heard of her? Okay. She was born, um, died in her very childhood itself. Uh, but you know that uh, if, um, during the Second World War, the Germans, especially Hitler, persecuted the Jews. And there was a concentration camp in which the people were imprisoned. And um, uh, he punished them very severely. You will see some of it. And the people were always anxious about their future. They do not know whether they will be living or next moment they will be dying. In such a situation they lived. And Anne Frank was one of the people uh, who belonged to the Jews community and that is why definitely they were also subjected to persecution and since they were afraid of this persecution they migrated from one place to another or they tried to seek the hiding places so they had to move from one place to another and we will see uh, the history so history or the Mm. Means uh, it is written from her memory. This is written from her memory. You know what is diary writing? And that means if you have a habit of diary writing every day, you will be noting down and the events that happened in your life. This is a good habit. And many of the famous persons biography or autobiography biography have been taken from this diary writing. If you have a habit of diary writing, this is good for you because after many years, if you turn back the pages, you will understand how you were and what are the changes that happened to you uh, later on in your life. Here you will see the diary entry of um, Anne Frank. Um, um, some of the dates are given here. There are many and it's taken from the um, diary entry of Anne Frank. You we'll see in 140 something about Anne Frank and she lived between 1929 to 45. You know, very few years only she lived. Was born in Frankfurt, Germany. She moved to Amsterdam with her family in 1933. The family went into hiding in 1942 to escape persecution by the Germans during the Second World War. Anne wrote about her experiences during this period in a diary, which was first published in 1947 and since has been translated in more than 60 languages. And even in our library, the diary of Anne Frank is available. When you come to school, please take it and read. Okay. And she was born in Frankfurt in Germany. And she moved to Amsterdam with her family in 1933. 33 means how many years she will be? Four years old. When she was four years old, they moved to Amsterdam. The family went into hiding in 1942. That means three years before her death, they moved to a hiding uh, to escape persecution by the Germans during the Second World War. And wrote about her experiences during this period in a diary. She had the habit of writing diary and she mentioned it in the diary entry which was first published in 1947 and since has been translated in more than 60 languages. And now it is very famous book that is written by uh, Anne Frank. Okay, some of the diary entries you will see. Page number 137. The extract that follows is taken from the diary of a young girl. That is the title of the book. Okay. Based on a diary written in Dutch by Anne Frank. The language is Dutch and this is written by Anne Frank a young Jewish girl. She and her family had to go into hiding 
for two years during the Second World War, when the Jews were being persecuted by the German soldiers. They happened to go into a hiding in order to save themselves. Otherwise, the life will be struggle. Okay, so in order to escape from the German persecution, they moved into a hiding. and began to keep a diary from her 13th birthday okay her moving account records the difficulties and sufferings of innocent families during the war and when you read it you will understand what are the difficulties that fa- that is faced by a family if they belong to a jew family and we will see the details in the diary entry and the first diary entry is written on thursday 9th july 1942 and all this diary entry have been written to an unknown person that is called kitty and this is written to kitty dear as kitty it was agreed that we would go into hiding this week the hiding place was located in father's office building okay and the information that we get about the hiding place is that This is near father's office. It is located near father's office building. That is only on that day. And another diary entry you will see that is written on Saturday, eleventh July, nineteen forty-two. Re- Dearest Kitty, father, mummy, and Margaret still can't get used to the f- sound of the vestibule clock, which tells us the time every quarter of an hour. Not me allowed it from the start. It sounds so reassuring, especially at night. You no doubt want to hear what I think of being in hiding. Well, all I can say is that I don't really know yet. I don't think I'll ever feel at home in this house, but that doesn't mean I hate it. It's more like being on holiday in some strange pension. kind of an odd way to look at life in hiding but that's how things are the annex is an ideal place to hide in it may be damp and lop sided but there's probably not a more comfortable hiding place in all of amsterdam not no in all of holland okay father mummy and margaret okay my father means aunt's father mummy and margaret her sister still can't get used to the sound of the vestator and clock vestator and clock that is a you know that uh, in olden days they used clock this is very long clock and they will hear the sound of it vestator and clock which it tells us the time every quarter and a quarter of an hour okay it will be ringing so that they will be even at night they will be hearing this sound not me i allowed it from the start because she wants to hear the sound that is why when she hears the sound of this clock she is happy uh, not happy but she feels something positive it sounds so reassuring for and especially at night because uh, sometimes they may not be sleeping because they will be afraid of the german soldiers that is why when she hears the sound of this clock it gives her some kind of hope you know doubt want to hear what i think of being in hiding okay and she doesn't like to be there in the hiding place well all i can say is that i don't really know it she doesn't know actually what is the meaning of being in a hiding place i don't think i will ever feel at home in this house what is meaning of feel at home that means if you are in your um, relatives house for example sometimes you will feel that oh i want to reach my home okay, that's my only ambition sometimes you will feel that um, you are just like a, um, so, sorry you wanted to be as wanted to escape from this place even though it's your relatives house sometimes you don't like the um place or the surroundings or the background that is not like your home so you won't feel at home there okay and uh, here she does not feel at home in this hiding place she does not feel that it is her home 
but that doesn't mean i hate it why because this is a place that makes him safe kind of an odd way to look at life in hiding but that's how things are or you know okay not familiar and uh, anyway she wanted to adjust to with that the annex annex that's a place already meaning is given here building that is added to a larger one and provides extra space and its extension okay the annex okay here the title itself is settling in the secret annex is an ideal place to hide in ideal what's the meaning of ideal uh, means this is a model house for hiding for everyone okay this is a good place to hide it may be damp and lopsided damp means slightly wet lopsided meaning given leaning to one side okay but there's probably not a more comfortable hiding place in all of amsterdam no in all of holland and she tells that this is the best hiding place if you take all the hiding places in amsterdam or if you take all the hiding places in holland itself up till now our bedroom with its black walls was very bare thanks to father who brought my entire postcard collections and film star collection here beforehand and with a brush and coat of glue i was able to plaster the walls with pictures okay anyway she is very happy um, because even though uh, first she is tell telling that up till now our bedroom with its blank walls was very bare bare means uncovered okay that means there is no curtains that is um, thanks to father who brought my entire postcard collection that means father took her post uh, postcard collections and film star collections here before they reached and with a brush and a coat of glue i was able to plaster the walls with pictures and she pasted all these pictures on the walls which was bare or uh, which was uncovered it looks much more cheerful now when the van dance arrive we will be able to build cupboards and other odds and ends out of the wood piled in the attic okay and now when they reached there it was very um that means it was uh, not pleasant at all now she is telling that is little cheerful when the van dance that is another family uh, when they arrive will be able to build cupboards cupboard you know and other old sandals what is the meaning of old sandals miscellaneous articles or remnants okay and they will be making some more um works there or some uh, um work uh, means uh, they have to make some works in the building when the wine dance arrive repairing works they will be doing out of the wood piled in the attic already some boards are there in the attic and they will be taking it and make use of it when the van dance arrive margaret and mother have recovered some boat yesterday mother felt well enough to cook a split pea soup for the first time but then she was downstairs talking and forgot all about it the piece was coarse black and no amount of scraping could get them out of the pan okay and some of the events she is mentioning here um, that happened on 11th july 1942 uh, margaret and mother have recovered some word recovered means at first they were not at all happy now they try to adjust to that yesterday mother felt well enough to cook split pea soup for the first time okay she tried to cook split pea soup but then she was downstairs talking and forgot all about it and this family you know, always they will be th thinking about um, the approaching of the soldiers and how they have to save themselves and at any time they will be caught so they may not have the peace of mind so the mother put the uh, soup on the stove but after that she forgot and what happened the piece was scorched scorched you know scorched meaning is become burned when exposed to heat or flame and now the piece was scorched and now it's black color 
and no amount of scraping scraping means to remove the upper layer from something could get them out of the pan that means uh, completely it was scorched it is it cannot be used okay and the next events we will be seeing in the next class it's a continuation we'll see in the next class the children thank you